I guess we haven't talked to you since you signed. What's life been like as a Titan so far? What's kind of your day-to-day been like uh, this offseason to try to get yourself ready for camp? Man, you know, it's been good, you know, adapting, uh, you know, adapting to the city, adapting to the team. Uh, the playbook was going tremendously well for me, you know, learning the plays, you know, uh, just, um, you know, just excited to be up here and excited to be around the guys, man. It's just a fun atmosphere. Teresa. With that, Bud, how is your how are you recovering? And you know, do you have an updated timetable yet? And, and what's your hopes for uh, training camp? Well, I'm recovering well. I'm on schedule. Uh, as far as uh, when they'll let me practice and stuff, I really want to know. It's up to them to like decide uh, how they want to do it, how they want to go forth with it. But on my end, I'm doing pretty good, and uh, you know, just uh, taking it day by day. You know, just excited for the season ahead. Buck. Yeah, but I, I know ACLs are, are fairly routine at this point in, in the NFL, but how big an impact of, of the people at Exos that you've been rehabbing with throughout the course of the offseason had on your on your ability to recover and, and kind of regain that kind of explosiveness? I mean, you know, uh, Exos did a great job, man. Uh, I can say that tremendously they did, you know, the effort, uh, the time that we put into it out there in, in Arizona and then also in Atlanta too. You know, they, brought, they sent a group of guys to Atlanta for me uh, so I can be with my family down there. Man, it's just been a tremendous time the whole time, you know, uh, the recovery aspect of, you know, working it hard, working it hard, but also taking care of my body to make sure I recover well. You know, they, 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 uh, t- hats out to them, man. They, they, the plan that they set forth for me, man, working tremendously, and I'm just excited about it. Paul? Bud, um, you have to be patient in terms of, of establishing yourself with the other guys since you haven't been out there. For the OTAs and and now for the mini camp, or, or are you able to find ways to to kind of uh, take on your your leadership role despite that? Yeah, I mean, uh, I ain't on the, I'm not on the field with those guys, so you know it's kind of different uh, uh, from that standpoint. But I, you know, uh, I do see them all the time. I see them all the time. So you know, we all we all uh, getting closer and closer each day. You know, the more they know about me, the more they know me. You know, it is. Uh, that dictates a lot about how a person feels. Uh, a person feels about you. And, you know, uh, I'm just excited to get on the field, man. Just show them that, uh, you know, that I work hard along with those guys. They see me going hard in the train room. They see me going hard in the off season uh, program that I'm in right now, getting better and trying to get back out there with those guys so I can make an impact right away. And uh, they respect it. Everybody's uh, excited for me to be here, and uh, I'm just excited. And I'm, and I'm more excited that they're accepting me being here on the team. You been around, or you been mostly on, on Zoom until lately? No, I've been around. So, uh, well, mostly on Zoom uh, until until mini camp. But uh, but now, but I came up, I came back and forth a couple of times, you know, trying to find places to stay. So I've been seeing guys here and there. Corey Curtis. Hey, Bud. Um, we all know the Titan sack numbers from last year and the sizable uh, investment they've made in you to fix that. How do you avoid mentally? that weighing on you and maybe trying to do too much or just putting too much pressure on yourself to fix the whole thing yourself. Yeah. I mean, it's a team effort, you know, but I'm a big part of that, you know, uh, pressure burst pipes or, or pressure creates a diamond. So, uh, you know, you got to take it at that standpoint. Uh, I mean, it's no secret. They got me here for that, uh, to help out with the pass rush. And, uh, you know, I put it on my shoulder and I, and I wear that hat, uh, while I'm working out in the off season, while I'm rehabbing right now, getting my, my knee right, you know, we all know what it is, and that's just part of the business of it, of, it, of this game called football. So, you know, I take it upon myself to make sure that I make an impact, and uh, as well as bringing guys up with me, man. You know, the guys who've been here the whole time, as well as you know, teaching those guys stuff that I learned over the years, and uh, 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 learning stuff from those guys that I may not know. You know, uh, doing different pass rush things uh, along with different trainers and stuff and just bringing that knowledge to them. And also, you know, uh, if they do something with somebody else, just bringing that knowledge together and constantly communicating on how we want to rush and how we want to be the unit. You know, we want to make sure that we define ourselves before the season uh, of what we want to be. And uh, we have a clear vision and a clear goal uh, of what we're working to. And, uh, you know, that'll make things better and that we'll have a path and we'll have a milestone to hit. And, uh, and, th- and that's how you build it. Is there a pressure that comes with the money, or is it all just football? I mean, uh, I mean, to me, man, it just it, it comes with you know. Uh, you, you expect to get paid big your second contract. If you're working hard in the first contract, you expect to hit, hit the second contract and get paid. And uh, with that, that doesn't mean you have to go out there and uh, change who you are because that's what got you paid. 
So, you know, I just got to go out there and continue to produce and produce uh, like like I have. And, uh, you know, and the bigger part of that is just not me producing. It's bringing someone else along to produce as well. So and then once, once you're doing that, then it's all worth it. Ben Arthur. Hey, bud. After the draft, uh, Rashad Weaver was saying he'd gotten a chance to like link up with you or, or something to, to that manner. I think he said you guys share like the same financial advisor or something like that. Um, I guess just from the interactions, um, just you've you've had with R Rashad to this point, um, even though you're not able to practice, just what have kind of been your impressions of of him and, and maybe kind of what he brings to, to, to the defense? Yeah, I met young boy uh, at Pitt, man. You know, uh, uh, me being on the stairs, him being in Pitt, uh, right across the hallway, seeing him there, seeing him play. Uh, then we do have the same financial advisor, Mark Doman, and, uh, and uh, you know, so that played a big part in him um, in the off season in Arizona this this summer too, where I was rehabbing. I've seen him up there, and you know, man, he's a, he's a hard worker, and uh, he's excited to be here. You know, he's trying to take advantage of every opportunity he gets. And uh, I feel like he'll go out here, man, and uh, just continue to work hard like he does. And uh, he's always trying to learn more things. So, uh, you know, that's all you want in the young players, to keep trying to learn, man, and uh, everything else will take care of itself. Steve Lehman. Hey, bud, you, you just talked about part of the pass rush is a full team and full unit effort. Obviously, in Pittsburgh, you had a pretty good unit around you, namely TJ have you been out there enough and looking at your new teammates here, do you see a unit that can be a force in the pass rush with you as a part of it? Oh, definitely. No, everyone on the team, man, uh, the whole defense, man, I feel like the unit is a good unit. Uh, you know, it, it just comes with work and uh, dedication. You know, we put our hard hats on, man. We come in every day. Uh, those guys obviously are already on the field, but I'm still putting my hard hat on in the, in the rehab room, in the training room. To make sure that we're, you know, I'm, I'm not. When once I get back on the field, I'm not falling behind. And uh, so, man, that's just part of it. You know, uh, we all want to be good players. You know, that's that's why we're in the NFL. And uh, all it takes is people to understand and realize how good they can be. Man, you just gotta push for the effort if, if, day in and day out, and uh, you can make it to that standpoint. A couple more for you, bud, Emily. Yeah, but when we talk to, uh, you know, some of the returners on defense, the, the common theme is obviously last year, not good enough. Um, and they're feeling kind of that sense of urgency and, and the, the need to, to be better than last year. Do you feel that sense of urgency and, the, and that, you know, extra focus this offseason on defense? Yeah, well, I can't even, uh, I, I really can't even tell, like, you know, since just being around them. No, being in meetings is different from being on the field. Being in meetings is different from being on the field as far as, you know, feeling the urgency, like you said, you know, feeling feeling the real pressure that's built up uh, from those guys who, who was here last year. You know, they the chip on their shoulder is different from guys who are just getting here. You know, it's, it's a whole different stature of, of work that they've been through uh, over the years, the, the pain, the, the pain, you know, uh, the hard work, the dedication, the time that they put into it, you know, so they're – their chip on the shoulder is very different from the guys who are just getting here. The guys who are just getting here, man, we're trying to come in and get on a hopping, rolling train and make our mo and make our presence known as much as we can by making the best impact that we can. And, you know, not going out and disrespecting none of the guys who've been here before us, but bringing those guys up, helping the guys as much as we can. And, you know, continue to be ourselves in that in in in, in this new atmosphere. And, you know. Uh, and that's and that's the key. I feel like we got to continue to be ourselves, who the player that we are, the player, the players that got us here for the new guys, and uh, continue to get better and better each day, man. And once we link with those guys, and um, everybody has the same goal and the same vision, and and then that's when the unit will, will every, the unit will mold together. Two more for Bud, and then we have Roger ready. Paul. Bud, we just uh, we just met Ryan Crow really for the first time in terms of talking to uh, hearing from him the other day. Yeah. What are your, your impressions of a young uh, first time position coach and and what that dynamic will be like with with you and with the group? Man, that's it's great. You no, know, uh, he's a, it's his first time coaching, so you know he's going to come out when trying to and trying to be a, uh, have his first year with a bang. You no, know, he's very detail oriented with us. You know, he goes over. Uh, you know, the things that we overlook, you know, he's trying to make sure that we emphasize those things, the small things, the fundamental things in the game, the things that we know we learned in high school, we'll bring it back up, you know, uh, 
taking effort, he's taking pride in actually being a coach, man, and um and, and wanting to get guys better. And uh and that's all you can ask for, man. Just keep, continue uh to be real like he is. You know, you know, even though he's his first time, man, he got a lot of great players in the room that can help him out. And uh, you know, and uh, I'm excited for him. I'm excited to play. I'm I'm just as much excited to play for him than I know he is excited to coach us. Last question, Jim Wyatt. And Bud, this team has kind of changed since you first came aboard. I think you were the, maybe the first signing, and then Danico's come aboard. Janoris has come aboard. You got a new draft class that's heavy on defense, and then other side of the ball, you get Julio Jones last week. Josh Reynolds. What, what's it been like, kind of seeing all these additions to now your new team, and and what's your overall thought about it? Man, it's exciting. Uh, it's exciting, but you know, now we just got to go out and put that work in, man, and uh, and then show the world like. Show the world the finished product. Now it's the time to grind. Our season is the time to grind. Training camp is the time to grind. The beginning of the season is the time to grind. But at the end of the day, man, everyone wants to be at that last game of the season. And that's what the uh, the main goal is. But to be able to get to the last game of the season, everyone has to put in the effort, put in the work, put in the dedication. And uh, it starts now, man. And uh, like you said, it's a, it's a great group of guys that came in with the already uh, great team. And uh, uh, we all are excited, but we got to go put the work in.